Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to go through lead call number 692, top K frequent words. So let's take a look at this uh, problem. Um, and this problem was asked by uh, uh, by these companies, Amazon, all the big names, Google, Bloomberg. So this is uh, fairly popular. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, the question. So uh, we are given a non empty list of words, and uh, also, we are given the number um, k, and we need to return the k most frequent element. And our answer uh, need to be sorted by frequency from high highest to lowest. If two words have the same frequency, and uh, and then the word with a lower alphabetical order comes first. So, uh, let's take a look some examples. Uh, this one I love legal, I love coding, and we are given a k of two, and that the k is defining uh, the size of the output. The size of the output um, list, uh, and then I appears um, two times, and also uh, love the word love appears two times as well, and uh, and uh, I comes before the love due to a lower alphabetical order. So that's why that's why uh, this output is accepted. Um, for this one, the day is sunny. The 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 sunny is is so k is equal to four. Again, k defines the size of this uh, output array, um, and then um, so the is sunny day are, are four most frequently uh, observed words, and um, so the frequency for the is four, four times one, two, three, four is is um, three times is 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 etc. So uh, it comes in the order of the frequency. Um, and there's some restriction, and it, we did solve it by um, by the big O of n log k, and also n of n actual space. Um, before we get into the um, the solution, I want to show you the performance of my solution. Uh, it shows uh, it's faster than eighty six percent or eighty five percent of the Python online submission, and also the memory usage is seventy five percent lower. Um, and this is my solution. Let me get into it. So um, we need to touch base on the uh, the corner case, uh, the edge case, where if uh, the given word is an empty list, and this, this is trivial, we just return an empty list as well. And uh, we have a frequency dictionary, and the keys are being the unique words, and uh, the values are being the frequency. So we initialize that dictionary, and um, uh, we, this one will be the the max frequency that we keep in track of, which to see uh, which word. Um, so in that example in here, uh, the max frequency it will be two because uh, uh, the I appears two times, and then love appears two times as well. So this is the highest. Highest frequency that we observe in the in the in the given list. Also, we have an empty list that we will be returning, and then so this is some uh, initial declaration on this so uh, setup of the of, of, of this uh, um, and um, and first we need to fill up this frequency dictionary by using this for loop and. Um, for words in the words that we are given for each individual word if the word is not already in the in the dictionary and then we will initialize it by because this is the first time that we we are coming across it we are uh, we are observing it so that's why we the frequency will be the first one and then if we sub sub subsequently see the same word again and then we will add one to it and then we will update the max frequency uh a variable to keep track of which frequency, which uh, where, which variable has which uh, words has the highest frequency. So, uh, in that example in here, um, that's after this loop is finished, the max frequency will be equal to two, and in this example, the max frequency will be equal to four. And this is one for loop, and then we have another uh, while loop that is filling out this return list and we're going from the highest frequency all the way to a frequency of one which is the lowest 
So we initialize the disk freak equals the max freak. Um, and then the, you have the term list. So the term list, the words for a particular frequency. So let's say uh, if the, the max freak equals to two, and then the term list will be collecting all the words that has frequency of two. This is the term list. And we will work our way down from the highest frequency and then highest frequency minus one all the way to the frequency equals to one. So we will work our way down. Because uh, on the return list in here, the first one will be the one that has the highest frequency. That's why we need to work our way down. And then after we initialize this term list, and then for all the unique elements in that in the keys of the frequency dictionary, if that dictionary, uh, if that value has a frequency that is equals to the one that we are pointing to, and then we will append the element to this term list. So basically, again, this is doing uh, collect allows uh, the term list is collecting the unique word that has the particular frequency. And the frequency will uh, decrease by one each time. And then we will sort the term list by the alphabetical order, by this sorted method. And then for all the elements is already in the term list, we will append to this return list uh, that will be returning when the return list, the length of that is equal to k, and then we will stop the entire function and then return this list. So let's take a look at the time complexity analysis. Uh, for uh, this for loop, and this will be the big O of uh, n of words, because we are filling up this freak dictionary, so it will look through all the words in the words. Uh, we are uh, the words of our list, so we will big O of n number of words. And then in this while loop, uh, as you can see, the while loop takes up um, the number of frequency. Um, and then you go all the way from the maximum frequency to one, if that's the worst case scenario. And then um, this for loop is collecting um, the element, the, the unit element correspond to that particular frequency that we're looking at. So this for loop is running um, number of elements times the, the frequency that we, we will be looping through on outside loop. And this is doing the same thing. This is doing the unloading. So it's the same amount of computation. And then there's an if statement here. This one breaks up the entire uh, function. This one can significantly reduce one time on average. So this, this part is only runs k times because when it appends a k element, it will break up the entire function. And uh, in, in this, this one, it runs a uh, frequency times the number of uh, elements in for that particular frequency. So that's the time complexity analysis. For space complexity, uh, the, this list, the return list takes up the uh, can space and the frequency dictionary takes up the number of the frequency uh, space. So yeah, so these two uh, variables take up the, uh, the space. So this is my code. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you do, please uh, put, push the, the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will uh, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.